Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome to Freddy's Pizzeria. Now this is a game made for the fan games at Freddit, uh, or fan game at Freddy's. Pretty sure it's it's one of those two. Um, it's a game built game jam, which means that creators create games based on the rules set by the event that's going on. And fan games at Freddit was one of them. Now this game was made by Phil Moore, which is the same creator of. Porkchop's Adventure, which, is, which was the teaser for Porkchop's Horror Show, which is in the works. So, uh, Freddy's Pizzeria, FNAF Pizza Tender Action. This was inspired by two games, FNAF, and I'm pretty sure the other one was like, Fail something, I don't know, it's linked down below, and so is this game. So, I don't know anything about it, I had a quick look at the manual beforehand, and it looks like it is a pizzeria, um, or it's like a pizza maker. So these controls, these are the controls I've already, um, uh, what's it called? I've already looked at them. Recipe book. Click on the tabs to search for recipes, try to find out what the client asked for. So this is kind of like, uh, what's it called? Uh, like, Papa's Pizzeria or something? I don't know. There, there was this game, or multiple games, on coolmathgames.com if you've ever been on there. And you had to make food based on what the people ordered. So, it's, it's basically like that, except, you know, hand unit teaches you. Each recipe consists of the name of the pizza, the price, a description, its flavor and type, additional, uh, additives. Again, if you ever know, if you guys know me, you guys know I suck at reading. Uh, and the total ingredients needed to make it. So, name, flavor, type, total earnings, unit, uh, pizza tender recipe book. Welcome, user. Please use the navigation bar to browse for f uh, thingies. I forgot what that said. Pizza oven. Drag ingredients to the yellow circle to build order. Isn't that yellow circle the crust? You couldn't just say crust? You can only add three ingredients total to your pizza. Oh, 30, sorry. I thought that said like 3D and I was like, that doesn't make any sense. 30. Adding twice the ingredients will enlarge the order. Uh, making pizza part, making pizza part two. Ingredient slots. Hold left click on slots to drag ingredients around. All right. You can only use one ingredient a total of ten times. Click on side arrows to sort through pages. Um. That word. <laughs> Recipes may require different. Ad oh. <laughs> Additions. Gotcha. Additions on top. Uh, of the normal ingredients, use the oil and charge buttons, then when prompted by the recipe, leave the oven on for more than 5 seconds to overcook the pizza. Other tips, failing to cook something from the recipe book results in question mark, question mark, question mark. Click on the reset button to try again. Resetting will cost you negative 10 off your total earnings. Nice. New game. Let's do it. Next up, level 1. Welcome to Freddy's. Pizzeria. I don't know anything about this game. I said that, but I can't remember. You. Here we go. Uh, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, oh look, it's, it's phone guy. Uh, w welcome. You arrived right on time. Congrats. Thanks. So, did I get the job? Almost. Yes, you are almost there. Potential new employee. That's the day you'll go <laughs> through your Fazbear Entertainment. Mandatory job training exam. Your very own. Sure. My what? Exactly. Your. <laughs> y y you know. It's, it's like an acronym for a new hire's training protocol. Hey, don't look at me like that. I'm not the one who gets to decide the name of these things. Is the person that named the job training protocol <laughs> also the one responsible for naming this restaurant? <laughs> yes, in fact, that's our founder and boss, Freddy Fazbear. 
If you have suggestions about the name, I, uh, I recommend you save them for um, after you complete a job training employee. Or, or you can just refer to it as Freddy's Pizzeria if that's what everyone that's what everyone here does anyway. I'm gonna do that exactly. I'll keep that in mind, so how do I do the thing? Excuse you? The, the thing, you know, how do I how do I begin my job stuff training? Right, right. Very own Fazbear Entertainment. Man mandatory job training exam. <laughs> Well, it's simple, really. There'll be one of our pizza tenders here at Freddy's, which means you'll have to stand in this spot all day and cook pizza for customers that, in that enter our restaurant. Pizza tenders are kind of like a combination between a pizza chef and a bartender. So it goes like pizza and, and bartender. Make a, make a pizza tender. Oh my god. I freaking hate this game. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, customers will come here and ask you for pizza and you'll have to cook it using your standard issue unit 2200 pizza making kit. It comes with your standard ingredient model, oven model, settings, mo module in the bottom left of the screen, and even a recipe book on your right. The instruction manual I gave you last week should have covered all the details of these modules in a step-by-step -step, easy to understand format. You, you did read the manual I gave you coming over, right? I did. Right? Of course. Yes, the manual. Of course. The manual. You read to it, right? Yes, that manual. That all of it. Read it. Yup, that that I did. No need to ask me twice. I took the thing in the manual. I got I, I read it back to back and I'm very good at reading it. Well, good to see that you did, uh, definitely read the important manual that I gave you. Considering that you did read it, then I most certainly don't have to go into detail on why my dogs won't stop shutting, won't stop barking. And you have to first search up the recipe you want to work with on your recipe book. And then, when you find what you're looking for, you have to drag the ingredients that you need to uh, uh, yeah, I've, I know. And for sure, I also did, did, don't have to say that once you have all your ingredients placed, you have to press the cook button, wait around 3 seconds and press the stop before your pizza um, bones to a crisp, right? Yes siree, I definitely read up all that. And that if you fail to have to try again, the cost of ingredients are wasted, deducted from your pay. Crap. Employee, watch your language. Freddy's is a family friendly restaurant, we can't have you swear during working hours. But I love swearing! <laughs> Was that also in the manual? Well, uh, no, but I mean, it's common sense employee. Anyways, continuing... Is, it, is my camera good? I don't know if it was pointing at me. Sorry if the camera was bad. I'm gonna go make my dogs be quiet, I'll be right back, I'm sorry. Alright, I'm back! It's not a uh, very busy time of year here at Freddy, so we'll use this dead sales period to get some of our cast members off stage. <sighs> Sorry, I had to chase my dogs all around so that they would shut up. Alright, and they'll act as mock customers for you to interact with. Your performance today will be recorded. How you act on Patreon, Patreons, they uh, doing good. How many mistakes you've made and you've uh, served the cursed pizza and all, all that stuff. Our boss should be here by 5 in the afternoon to judge how you did. And if he likes you, well, you may keep the job. How's that? You got all that? Um, uh, yeah, sure, I guess. Maybe? Perfect. Well, that's, uh, wonderful to hear. Let's not waste any more time then. I'll, um, I'll get one of our cast members to come over and act as a close customer. If that's okay with you. My guess is gonna be Bonnie. Just, just wait here for a few minutes, and I'll be right back. And don't forget about the no sway, not swaying during work. Oh. Will do. I mean, won't do. I guess. To me, I totally forgot about that manual. Where did I even put it? Don't even have it on me. God damn it all. God, God damn it all. Okay, well, at least I can s still swear inside my own head, that's good. Huh, that's funny, because that was what I was doing, I just wasn't saying anything. I guess I should check on some stuff while I wait for the phone man to come back. Now, where's my... Aha, here it is.
Am I on my phone? Cheese? Oh, is that a Flumpty reference? Trying to... Oh, they change. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna go with slot one. Wait, I'm confused. Next up, double trouble. Oh, I was supposed to clicking them. Employee, we're coming over. Better prepare your station. Oh, I mean on it. God. Crap, crap, crap. I hope I get this right. Hey, I bloody freaking knew it. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Sorry, that just reminded me of, of Raz. I would do his voice, but I'm not good at his voice. Hey, 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 what's going on over here? Are you that new guy that's gonna be cooking for us? Uh, I never do voices in my series, so let's let's start that with this series. Yeah, that's me, all right. You're, you're Bonnie, right? Bonnie, Bonnie the rabbit. Bonnie, you're Bonnie the bunny. Bonnie the rabbit, my good Suey. Good Suey. Gosh, you don't even know the names of your co-workers? We're gonna have to duck some points already for that one, man. Oh, I, I mean, crab apples. So I take it I'm the first one for this part over... Over to help... Oh, I get it. To help you with the setup, right? Y y yes, you should just act like a normal co- Hey, <laughs> was that, was, was the problemo, phony? I've told you to stop calling me phony. That's a degrading nickname. Just because I have a rotary phone for head, that doesn't mean that that's all I'm worth for. <laughs> Whatever you say, phony. So, you say to me a little... <laughs> Who the hell is that model? I can already tell this guy's gonna be a handful. Well, 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 there's no time to dwell on everybody's names. Say, new guy, you sure you are up for cooking pizzas around here? Y yes, sure. I can do that. Definitely know all about it. <laughs> if that's not in the thumbnail, I apologize. Then prove it. Let's stop standing around and get to it. Give me one biggity diggity pizza weenie. Uh, well, I. What would you like to order, um, sir? Give me one good old plain Jane, please. Plain Jane, got it. Just hold on a sec. Plain Jane! Oh, this is me. Plain Jane, need to make one simple plain Jane for the jumpy blueberry bunny. Alright, welcome user. Please use navigation tool. By name. Alright, uh, let's search for P L O P. Plain Jane. Uh, perfect for single dads that cheap out on food for their kids. Two cheese, two tomatoes. Tomatoes. Whatever. So, one, two, three cheese, one, two tomato, salty, regular. What does that mean? Flavor. Shoot. Plain Jane. Arrow key, or not. Uh, oh my god, two or fifteen? Pepperoni party, a classic, no western, wait, no, no. Plain Jane, fifty dollars. Salty regular. I don't know what salty regular means. One, two, three, open. Did I do it? Yeah, 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 it's time to dig in. Uh, gotta say, for such a hyperactive guy, you sure have a simplistic taste for your pizza. I don't see what's wrong with Plain Jane. If it's basically what I'm seeing and how I made it, I love Plain Jane's. To be honest, that's my favorite type of pizza. Sometimes if I'm feeling fancy, I'll throw on a few um, pineapples on my pizza, but usually it's just plain cheese for me. I'm a very boring pizza guy. And also, good job, employee. I knew you could do it. Thank you. You did? Sure I did. I was chewing you on the whole time. Yeah! I mean, uh, thank you for encouraging me, sir. Mmm, hey, Phony, this tastes great! The new guy did a fine dandy job! What a slice! A want a slice? Oh, no thank you. I'd, uh, I'd rather have something with more toppings than absolutely none at all. How does Phone Guy eat? 
Ugh, the toppings are yucky though. There's so many good thumbnail worthy sprites. Tell you what, I'll buy you something else instead. What are you hungry for today, Phonester? Phones? Uh, well, I, I guess I could go for a pepperoni party if that's fine with you. <laughs> pepperoni party! I, that I can do, good Sui. But I can't just be just a regular pepperoni party. Let's make it a huge one. The big one. The super sized one. Uh, sure, Corona. Hey, new guy. Get this ladder line over here. A large pizza with some disgusting pepperoni in it. Please and thank you. Sure, um, I feel like Bonnie's gonna do my favorite. It's gonna be my favorite caption. Alright, pepperoni, a big pepperoni party. How do I make it big? Pineapple. Hey, ice, freak. How do I, how do I make it big? Is that just it? Alright, well, pepperoni party. A classic no western middle class family birthday party is complete. Uh, oh, a classic no western middle class family birthday party is complete without at least one of these. Three cheese, two tomatoes, five pepperoni. That's quite a bit of pepperoni. Alright, so one, two, three cheese, one, two pepperoni, I mean tomato, one, two, three, four, five pepperoni, salty, regular. Alright, I'm hoping this is just gonna make it large anyway, I don't know how I would make it large. So one, two, three, open it up! It's a pepperoni party! I don't know how to make it big. Wrong. Oh. What? What? Oh dear. Um. Hold on, employee. Even if you get the recipe correct, this restaurant also offers a choice to enlarge your order. So even if you did make a pepperoni party, you still have to make it larger. You see, phony. I didn't know how to do that. Larger. Well, how do I do that? Where's the bigger pizza button? There is no button like that, you dumb. Oh, I haven't probably been doing this voice. There is no button like that, you dummy. You gotta make it larger yourself. To enlarge the client's order, you um, have to put it in twice the amount of ingredients in a recipe into the oven. Um, I can't put ten pepperoni in there. So, uh, if you, if I recall correctly, a normal pepperoni party needs three cheese, two tomatoes, and five pepperoni. Yeah, but I can't put ten pepperoni. So a large pepperoni pizza would need six cheese, four tomatoes, and ten pepperoni. It makes it double in size after the cooking period finishes. Well, I guess that makes sense. The oven can only hold 30 ingredients at one time, so any pizza that can be enlarged can only have at least, at most, 15. You should try again now and see if it works. Okay, here we go again. Alright, well, I guess I'll try and put 10 on. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, I get it now. Phone shut up. 1, 2, shoot, wait. How many does it need regularly? Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. Put it in the oven. Un, dun, voila, voila. So, success! Great job, new guy. I might cut you out and dig it. That means. He's right, the pizza's actually edible. I'm very proud of you, employee. Well, technically, the first one was edible, it just wasn't the correct size, to be honest. Thanks, I tried my best. Even if the machine is doing most of the work. So, new guy, how's your mother been doing? Wait, wait, what? Your mommy, you know, the cow that raised you and jumped. Don't you have a mom? Why, why do you want to know about my mother? No reason. I'm just trying to spark some friendly conversation. Uh, I should explain. Y you see, employee, you jo your job might consist of standing still and cooking pizzas, but that's only half of it. After serving customers the order, if they decide to hang out, you must be prepared to engage some conversation with them. Oh my god, that's such a cool mechanic. Most of our clients are quite sad, unstable, lonely pieces of work, and also quite talkative to boot. The only reason we've been kept in business is because of our family-friendly disposition and pizza tenders that can lend an ear to poor souls that keep coming back. Well, luckily, I'm a very shy introvert, which may be surprising. I don't like talk, at least to real-life people. It's fine with you guys, because I'm literally just talking to 
a piece of equipment. I can't. There's no one else here. So it's fine. The children's entertainment business isn't quite what it used to be, you know? I haven't seen it. <laughs> what the hell? What is that face? Bunny has the best faces. I haven't seen a single kiddo come into- Oh. I haven't seen a single kiddo come into the restaurant for months. Mm. That's concerning, to say the least. I know, I've been trying to speak to our boss about it, but every time I suggest we try to rebrand, he, um, kind of, well, it is his name. Smashes his desk, yells, Acha, and then storms out of the back room, fuming with the rage of a hundred brown bears, am I right? Y yeah, something like that. Shouldn't he realize keeping things like this is going to hurt the business? I mean, he does, kind of, but, you know, he's, um, a bit stubborn, I guess. Old Freddy Bear is just stuck in the past, I'm afraid. He kind of wants to go back to those days where he had a blast with the kiddos. With the kiddos around here, sing songs, running around, playing games, and eating pizza all together in one big party table. I uh, sadly, those heroes are long behind us. Robotic entertainers like Bonnie, Freddy, and the others are ageless. As long as they keep their batteries charged, they can live forever as they are. However, Kids uh, obviously didn't. They grew up and over the years grew out of Freddy's as well. I don't blame them. You gotta. <laughs> Why did that? Oh god, who did that sound like? Yeah, I don't blame him. That's Stewie from. I don't know why that kind of. That reminded me of Stewie. You gotta do what you gotta do, and I know Fred gets it too. It's just uh, a bit hard for him, is all. Damn, I mean, dang. Have any of those kids ever come back to visit the restaurant recently? Heck yeah, some am. I sometimes see him sitting over here looking at our stage. I think they still remember the fun we had way back then. They are so big now. I mean, I remember them back when I could look at them face to face. They are as small as me. They were as small as me, but now I can barely chop at their knees. A handful of them are even still regulars to this day. They always come ask if they can talk with their friends, but I don't think he uh, wants to talk with our grown-up, our old grown-up pretty friend O's for some reason. Though there was this one kid that was particularly chummy with friends. Don't remember much about him, but they were like best friends or something. I think his name was Michael, Michael something something. He was a great kid, loved Freddy's attack. He always used to come over every week. I'm not sure if little Mike comes around to town again. Freddy would love to see him, even if that's a bit unlikely. The boss is always busy these days. He always comes once a week to make sure we are doing okay. Checking inventories, fixing broken equipment, making sure Foxy doesn't uh, start any fires, things of that nature. So he's still coming over today, right? Oh yes, he told me himself he wants to make sure you can do a good job before letting you be part of the restaurant. You aren't doing that bad of a job right now in my opinion, so uh, keep up like that and we may not have to give you a pink slip by the time six arrives. Thanks, that's very reassuring. Hey, hey, hey! Everybody knows me. Don't look so worried there, new guy. It might not sound like it, but Fritz ain't so bad once you get to know him. He's kinda like a cold robotic, rigid popsicle on the outside. But let the bear warm down to you and he'll slow. Show his big old fuzzy and sweet side in no time. Just keep your piece of making up and he'll have no reason to personally grab you by the head and hurricane running at you off the exit. Okay, never mind. That's reassuring. Many thanks to the mental image, you blueberry weirdos. My pleasure. Hey, hey, hey. I just realized my battery is gonna run out the door in about a minute. Can I go take a little bathroom break, Bernie? Uh, sure, you, you can. You should bring Cheek and Foxy over now to talk with our new employee anyways. Great, oh, just before I got, if I go though, I should take some more pizza for the road. New guy, give me the good stuff. What'll it be this time? Want a comedy special, please? That one has a lot of cheese and not much else. I can get you icky green. I can get, I can just get the icky green stuff 
out on my way to the bathroom. Sometimes Bonnie's dialogue can be hard to read, even, well, I say even for me, but I'm really bad at reading anyways. Comedy special, you got it. Alright, by name. C. Comedy special. The sworn nemesis of the lactose intolerant community. Eight cheese. Five, five greenies. Alright, well, let's put in the cheese first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five greenies. One, two, three, four, five, and then two onions. One dose. Strong, spicy, strong, charged, oiled. Alright, so we want it to be charged, oiled, spicy, and strong. I don't know how to make that happen, but we're just going to cook it. One, two, three, let's go. Eat. So, yes, 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 super duper good job, new guy. I'ma just go now. Good luck with the other two guys. They are much pickier with their poisons than this old rabbit. Chow! I don't see Bonnie saying chow. Well, uh, as for me, I think I'll bring Chicken Foxy over for you to have a talk with. Will you be here to help out if I screw up? Unfortunately for you, no. I have some stuff to take care of before the boss gets here. I'll check back with you just before he arrives then, to get you uh, prepared and stuff. Alright, well, that seems good. Just hold on for a sec while I, while I slowly fade away from existence. I'll be right back then. Don't worry. Here's $200. Alright, bye. Just hold on for a sec and they'll be here before your oven model gets cold. And I'm alone, here with my thoughts. Again. Hmm. Gotta check my phone to pass the time. Alright, so literally after I press back, I notice, hey, there's a save spot right there. Let's go with slot... I don't feel safe going with slot zero. I'm going with slot one. Anyways, so that is going to be it for... Next up, let's see. Shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Actually, no, we're not going to do a sneak peek. Quit, quickly. Yes. Oh, I'm guessing that's the big man up there. Freddy. Anyways, that is going to be it for this episode of Freddy's Pizzeria. I'm just going to call it that. It's easier to call it that way. Great game so far. I'm very excited to do more episodes. It's actually really, really fun. So, that was it. Link to the game in the description. Link to the two games that will be inspired in the description. And I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Oh, I did. I, I blacked out for a moment. I forgot to drop and do my intro. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. I forgot to thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, times two. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.